Outside the courthouse in central Minneapolis, members of George Floyd's family gather for another day of harrowing evidence. The family's legal team here to represent them in a building now fortified with barriers, fencing and barbed wire. The defendant, Derek Chauvin, about to hear powerful evidence from children as young as nine who witnessed the death of George Floyd. On day two of the trial, the court heard testimony from Darnella Fraser, just 17 at the time, whose footage of Mr. Floyd's death unleashed protests across the globe. She said witnessing that changed her life. We don't see her face. When I look at George Floyd, I look at, I look at my dad, I look at my brothers, and I look at how that could have been one of them. It's been nights. I stayed up apologizing to George Floyd for not doing more. Her nine-year-old cousin was with her that day. How did you feel about that? How did it affect you? I was sad and kind of mad. And, and tell us, why were you sad and mad? Because it felt like he was stopping his breathing and it is kind of like hurting him. May the 25th will mark a year since George Floyd's death. An off-duty firefighter says she tried to intervene that day, desperate to check his pulse, but was denied by the officers detaining him. I tried different tactics of um, calm and reasoning. Um, I tried to be assertive. Um, I, I pled and was desperate. I got there and I could have given medical assistance. That's exactly what I should have done. Derek Chauvin denies the murder of George Floyd and the televised trial is expected to last about four weeks. Sharon Thomas, 5 News.